Transocean is a company built upon firsts. This is nothing new for us. We have done this for years. The Deepwater Atlas and the Deepwater Titan are the first eighth generation ultra deep water drill ships that have been brought to the market. These ships carry 20,000 PSI BOPs. They're the first 20K BOPs that have ever been deployed subsea. This is an evolution in technology from the standard 15K that is normally run and they are needed to reach the high pressure reservoirs in the Gulf of Mexico that these rigs are targeted for. With the current state of the art, well control being at 15,000 PSI, you're limited in the reservoirs and the fields that you can access. There's another layer down to go, right? And that's the 20K. That's where these ships will be able to explore and more importantly, complete the wells. HPHT, or what they call high pressure, high temperature wells, where the pressure is greater than 15,000 PSI at the wellhead. We knew there was a market for these 20,000 PSI BOPs, but they had never been built before. We also knew that taking the leap at this point in time positioned us to be available to the market years ahead of any of our competition. Today, we have two ships that are equipped with 20,000 BSI, BOPs, and they will be performing the first subsea 20,000 PSI completions of wells in the Gulf of Mexico in the next few months. I think if there's one feature, in my opinion, that really differentiates the Atlas and the Titan as true eighth generation, I would say it has to be the hook load capability. These ships have been delivered with a 3.4 million pound hook load. And that compares to the biggest seventh gen units in the market at 2.8. If the customer showed up with a three million pound box and they set it on the drill floor and said, pick this up, we can do it. We're the only ones that can do that. That is important because in order for us to reach the deepest reservoirs and enable our customers to be able to produce from them, being able to run longer, heavier casing strings is key. If you think about the Deepwater Atlas and the Deepwater Titan, you could run 20,000 foot plus strings of 14 inch casing into the ground in one go. It's hard to visualize. You think 20,000 feet of 14 inch casing, 20,000 feet, that's almost four miles. That's where your efficiency comes in. I mean, that can ultimately be some days off the construction of the well. And then, you know, once the casing is down, because you're able to run these really big, long intermediate casing strings at a larger bore, the well is actually able to produce more. So you're running larger casing at depth, uh, you're gonna get uh, kind of more barrels per day out of that well. That's huge. I don't wanna downplay 20K because 20K actually unlocks the resources that you need. I would say that the hook load will actually recover them faster. There are multiple 20,000 PSI reservoirs on our customers' books to look at at the present moment in time. We believe that with the two ships we've got at the moment, we have enough capacity to satisfy that need. In the world today, there are only three 20K blowout preventer stacks, right? Two of them are on the Deepwater Titan, and one of them is on the Deepwater Atlas. I don't think that there's gonna be any more new drill ships built anytime soon. The likelihood of these new super premium assets getting built at the better part of a billion dollars each, probably low. There's a need to do this work. It requires a certain kind of tool. There's only a few of those tools in the world. I think that's just another advantage that we have. We have always understood the importance of developing and deploying new technology to enable more work, more opportunities, and uh, more prospects. We're looking forward. I think we're, we're trying not to be kind of too short-sighted and just kind of, what do we need to do to get to the end of the year? I think we're looking at who do we want to be at the end of the decade? Who do we want to be in, in 15 or 20 years? We now have robots working offshore on an ultra deep water drill ship, running riser in 10,000 feet of water without a single person being involved in the task on the rig floor, apart from the driller. History's first 20K BOP splash on a riser that was run without people putting hands on wrenches. I mean, I think that's just another one of the things that makes it kind of exciting about working for Transocean.